Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Steve with LRM. Today we're gonna to talk about how to replace an oil pressure sensor on your Freightliner Cascadia. But before we get started, guys, I need you to pound those like buttons when you love those videos. And also if you have any questions or concerns or you wanna know something, leave a comment at the bottom. And to save money and have content coming your way, guys, subscribe. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about this Freightliner Cascadia, which I have right here about an oil pressure sensor, which is on the block, and you normally see it, you know, leaking up. So the good news is I do have a truck here, and you're gonna see the sign of what it looks like. And then we're gonna go ahead and replace it before it makes it worse, which you have oil traveling down the electrical line, which is called oil wicking. And we don't want that, because then you would have to replace the harness, which you do not want, because that costs money. So if you can catch it before that happens, kudos to you. So there'll be a few things that you're gonna need, right? One, you're gonna need some electrical cleaner. That's great, so we can clean off the end of the plug from the oil and so forth. Two, you're gonna need a 27 millimeter 12 point um, and a long extension, as well as a ratchet. And then the other thing is, I say a little pick, and I'm gonna show you guys why here in one second. So those are the tools that we're gonna need. And then, for safety reasons, guys, make sure that the motor is cool to the touch. You do not want it piping hot, so you don't get a third degree burn or hurt yourself because that's no bueno. So let's do this. I'm gonna show you a plug real quick and the reason why I use a pick because where you have to reach in, it might be hard to take it off um, as well as you might be fighting and I'm gonna show you why. So I wanna talk about the pick and the plug, right? Just keep in mind, this is not the plug that goes into your oil pressure sensor, but it's gonna demonstrate what I was talking about, the gray tab, because what happens is if you're fighting on it, you'll break the plug and you don't want that. So and this is where the pick will help, where you can reach in there. So all the way up, that's closed. And what you wanna do is get that pick in there, and it'll pop open just like that. Once you have it open, all you gotta do is squeeze and the plug will come right out. So, and you can see right there, while I'm pushing down. So and then you just apply it out. Now if you're still having a little issue, use your pick to push this forward and then squeeze your finger and then pull out. And just remember, this is an open, that's closed. Closed, you are not gonna open that at all. So just be careful when we start this process, all right? And that's why I use this. A little pick to pop that out, and then I'll go in there with my hand and unplug it. All right, guys, so what I wanna do is let's show you what that uh, oil pressure sensor would look like on your truck, which I have a good example right here of what it'll look like when it's leaking. So let's hop right into this. Right now, I'm I am all set up so I can show you one. There's two sensors, right? I'm gonna tell you which one is which. You're gonna see the camera and the tripod in the way. That's just for you guys so you can see one up close and tight of what I'm working on, right? So the first thing you need to know, the sensor that is closer to the belt, you know, front of the motor, that's gonna be your coolant sensor. Do not unplug or remove it or the coolant will come onto you. You don't want that. The sensor further away, right? That's your oil pressure sensor, and that's the one that's gonna be covered in oil. So when you see that, that's a good indication that there's your leak, we're gonna replace the oil pressure sensor. And again, you're gonna start out with the pick, right? It's like I just talked about a few seconds ago, what we're gonna do is take that gray, gray tab and pull back, and then I'm gonna reach in there and unplug it and slide it out. So let's go ahead and hop right into that, okay? So I'm gonna get my pick right on here, where the gray tab is. And if you can see it, it popped right out and I gotta get my hand in here, squeeze, and I unplugged it. Right there is where you can see all the oil and nastiness. So before I start, you know, putting the socket on to the sensor, I'm gonna clean the end of the plug off. And by doing that, I'm gonna use some electrical cleaner. Use electrical cleaner. Please do not use brake clean. You do not wanna do that. Reach in, all I'm gonna do is And then once I'm done, just knock that around. All right, and it will dry fast. By the time we get that sensor out, it's gonna be all dried up and we'll be good to go. Like I said, 27, let me make sure, yeah, 27 millimeter. Now mine has an open end, that's usually for wires. It doesn't matter, it could be a 27 uh, millimeter socket, 12 point. It could be completely enclosed, all right guys? Because what we're doing is, is we're gonna capture the sensor just like that so you can get it out and install it, okay? 
So just keep that in mind. It doesn't matter if you don't have an open spot like mine. Then all I'm gonna do is slide that bad boy down there. And if I forgot to say anything, put it on an extension. Sometimes you might need more than one. Once you get it on there, slide it over. Shouldn't be able to move it. And then I'm gonna take my ratchet. So if yours has it, you know, off and on, off. Or if you can't remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Little pop, just like that. And at that, that point, I'll take my ratchet off, unscrew that bad boy. No, I'll just move that out of the way. Get my hand in there. All right, and there you go. Your nice oily looking oil pressure sensor. Now, when you guys do these, there's always a little ceiling ring, right? That's this bad boy. Sometimes it stays on the block. Some people like to use the old one, I don't. You can use your pick to fish it out or put your finger on it and rub hard. Um, but I normally just put the pick on it and just move around the side. If it falls on the ground, it's fine. It's not a big deal considering you're replacing it. There it goes. So mine fell on the floor because I just don't care. <laughs> All right, keep this in mind. When you buy the sensor, it does not come with the ceiling ring, right? Just another thing that they want to charge you for. So just always remember, when you buy your oil pressure sensor, make sure you get the ceiling ring with it. All right, slide that bad boy in there, and I'm gonna put it back just like I got it. Just like that. I'll get it snugged with my hand. Just like so. And then I'm gonna put my ratchet back on it. And then we're gonna move from off to on. Once you got it finger tight, I'll probably go to a quarter turn. Just nice and snug. You don't need to break, you know, do good and tight or anything. Just nice and snug is what you want. Now she's in there. Last but least will be the sensor tail. All right, just should be all nice and dry, which it looks like it is. Slide that plug right back on and push that tab in. There you go. Sensor is installed. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, guys. Save some money. All right, guys. So that was replacing the oil pressure sensor. Let's do a quick recap, right? Fuel tools that we're going to need. Uh, I used a 3 8 ratchet with a long extension with a 27 millimeter 12 point to get the sensor out. And then also remember a pick to get that tab undone so you can take that plug off. And don't forget some electrical cleaner. If you guys like what you saw today, don't forget to pound that like button. If you have any questions or concerns of what you saw, leave a comment at the bottom. And guys, if you want to save some money, subscribe. I'll see you guys around at the next video.